Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again, Down the Rabbit Hole News. I'm the rabbit. Okay, guys, there is a lot going on in Colombia. Now, you guys know Jimena from 90 Days. A lot of you guys have followed the show. Some of you guys are the fans of it. I'm definitely a fan of the show as well. Now, Jimena, now I've been in contact with Jimena from 90 Days, okay? And she's been telling me an issue that's been happening in her hometown, in her hometown currently. If you guys have not watched her Instagram or are lost, I'm going to show you guys exactly what's up. Okay, in her town in which she lives in, there's about four over four thousand people that have been displaced. Okay, displaced. They all have received a letter from the government, the Colombian government, and basically telling them that they have to leave the area because they plan to remove those homes. You have so many families that have been displaced. This is a very poor area, poor town of Colombia. Um, there's about 4,000 people that have been displaced because of this. There have been buses going in and out of there, uh, picking people up to remove them. Now, I want you to be very mindful. There are no stipends to help rehouse these people. There, These are people, These are there's schools in that area. There are jobs in that area. These are tax-paying people that have been now displaced. Now, the Colombian president, Gustavo Petro, who was recently elected in August of this year, has not spoken out, has not given any remedy to these people. It's a pretty sad situation because some of these people have lived there for years, and this is a very small uh, area in Colombia. A lot of these people are poor. Uh, you have a lot of children in here. But anyways, Jimena personally sent me a message, uh, and I will try to translate it as best as I can to everyone as I am bilingual. Let's go. Hola, soy Jimena Morales Pulgar de 90 días para informarles todo lo de la invasión de acá de Bosque de Pindana, las personas que hay, lo que hay. Eh, tenemos en el barrio de Pindana, son 483 viviendas, para un total de habitantes de 1,800, mestizos 738, madres cabeza de hogar 150, desplazados 200, menores de edad 450. Afrocolombianos 38, indígenas 28, migrantes 25, discapacitados 30 y adultos mayores 130. También tenemos mascotas como perros 249 y gatos 176. Gracias, mi nombre es Jimena. De todo 90 días. Hasta luego. So in total, we have 4,000 people that have been displaced from their homes, including uh, 450 minors overall. This is a very poor town, small town with little children, um, school aged children in particular. This village in itself had, this little town, this little village in itself had uh, uh, its own schooling, its own jobs, its own um, area that people were living in. So the government is coming in and they are taking down these homes for the production of corn. Okay, so Jimena had received a letter from from the alcalde, which alcalde in Spanish could either be a magistrate or a mayor. Okay, somebody a position of power over these people. Here, Jimena is going to give us a message that she would like to relate to el alcalde. Let's listen to her message. Al señor presidente, al señor alcalde de Pereira, al gobernador, que se ponga la mano en el corazón, por favor, le pedimos que piensen nuestros niños, piensen en nosotros. Por favor, póngase la mano en el corazón. Hasta luego. Mi nombre es Jimena Morales Cuellar, de 90 días. Al señor presidente, al señor alcalde de Pereira, al gobernador, que se ponga la mano en el corazón. Por favor, le pedimos que piensen nuestros niños, piensen en nosotros. Por favor, póngase la mano en el corazón. Hasta luego. Mi nombre es Jimena Morales Cuellar, de 90 días. She is pleading with the uh, alcalde, she is pleading with the mayor to put his hand in his heart, as well as the president of Colombia, to put his hand in his heart and think of the children, think of everyone that this is going to impact. Again, this is over 4,000 people in this little town, a village, you could even call it, right, um, that have been displaced over uh, the government, basically saying that they are going to build... Um, they're going to manufacture corn in this area, and they're wanting all these people removed. People that have lived in this town for 
ages, people that have lived in this town for years, okay? These are tax-paying individuals that have been displaced, that are being given a notice. They will be tearing down those homes tomorrow based on the information that's been given uh, by Jimena and by uh, protesters. There's so much protesting going on right now because of this situation. Yes, Jimena is a 90-day star. Completely get it, right? Kind of stories that TLC, all these bigger channels do not touch. This is an important thing, right? This is going to impact a whole community, those children involved. Shout out to her, right? And so what we're asking you to do right now is share the hashtag that we've created, okay? Salva los cerritos, which you guys will see here on the screen because I've posted it here. Share it. If you have anybody that is uh, in the media, um, especially in the Latino America media, or anyone that any plug that you have, please share this video for them. Let this video go out so that they can bring some attention to this situation. These are 4,000 people that have been displaced that will not be offered any type of stipend or support for relocation uh, because of this. They've just taken the land and they've decided what they're going to do with it. Sad situation, period. Let's watch the other videos that Jimena has posted about the situation on her IG. Let's go. Pero créalo, señor presidente, señor gobernador, que estamos contentos porque tenemos un techo donde vivir. ¿Por qué no más bien organizan? Que nos pongan alcantarillado, que nos pongan servicios, que estamos dispuestos a pagar los impuestos al gobierno, pero que por favor no nos dejen sin vivienda. Pero créalo, señor presidente, señor gobernador, que estamos contentos porque... Que no se... Que no, se, que no se esté dando prioridad a, a, a la gente armada, al que está armado. A las multinacionales. Que valga la pena trabajar en este país. Legisladores. Y Colombia, todos los colombianos de a pie, los de a caballo, todos. Todo el mundo que pone la mano en su corazón. No al desalojo. 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 Pero créalo, señor presidente, señor gobernador, que estamos contentos porque tenemos un techo donde vivir. ¿Por qué no más bien organizan? Que nos pongan alcantarillado, que nos pongan servicios, que estamos dispuestos a pagar los impuestos al gobierno, pero que por favor no nos dejen sin vivienda. ¡Bravo! Para que es. Pero levanta la vieja, Jaro. Sí, no la Para que es. Sí, están haciendo todo eso porque ustedes tienen su pedazo ahí. Yo tengo mi casa construida en eh, no, 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 la ciudad. No, no, pero quieren estar aquí. Ella ¿no? le metió casi 100 millones a eso. Gente como ustedes conocen mucha gente. ¿Qué hora es acá en Colombia? Eh, son las 7 y 58 de la mañana. Hola, hola. Vamos porque el alcalde Pereira nos quiere sacar de nuestras casas y tomar nuestras casas de material. El gobernador y el presidente también. Gracias.
Yo ya anoche le iba a llamar que el tribu y no dijo nada. La chama también la llamamos aunque para pedir de los personas tampoco dijo nada. No fue. Amigos, nos vemos en transmisión con pues estamos ya en la alcaldía de Pereira. Queremos que nos acompañen y nos apoyen. Chao, gracias. Nos vemos para ahí en dos horas más o menos. ¿Lo bloqueaste? You have everybody protesting. Tienes que abrirlo y volverlo a cerrar. So you have the people protesting again. The president, the mayor, el alcalde, presidente, uh, Gustavo Petra, uh, have all... Um, are all in support of tearing down these homes. There's about 480 homes total, over 4,000 people that um, uh, have been displaced in Colombia, 450 children to be included. Again, based on the information that's been given, there sounds like there's local protests happening right now. Shout out to everybody in Colombia, los colombianos, estamos con ustedes, we're with you. We're asking that you guys share this live. That's what Jimena is wanting. Okay, let's let's put this 90 day star thing aside for a minute and bring some attention to this. This is someone that, um, along her with so many other have been displaced by this situation. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Rabbits out.